Hello, this is Mayor Jen Miles. I'd like to talk to you today about a couple of things, including coffee conversations with the mayor. I just completed my first morning coffee with about six people at Calico's. And though it was a small group, we covered a lot of territory in the discussions, and I was really pleased at how interested people are in what's going on at the city. The range of topics covered water, uh, I-11, infrastructure development, uh, I'm looking at some of my notes, uh, notification of businesses on special events, how and when is that going to happen, uh, and even let's have a no Jake break on I-40, which I wasn't sure what that was, but it's no engine breaks. And so these discussions were uh, very fruitful and in depth, and I, I have some things to work on, and I think there was an opportunity to learn a lot. I hope, that, I hope you'll join me next month. Uh, I'll be having these every month, and uh, it's, the times are listed. A lot of things are happening this weekend, and I want to briefly cover a couple of interests. Of course, our Easter egg hunt is tomorrow at Centennial Park at 11 o'clock. Prior to that, the Community Garden on Lily Avenue is having a uh, Earth Day celebration from 9 to 11. And of course, the Home and Garden Show is going on at our fairgrounds today and tomorrow. So there's a lot of things this weekend. And on April 27th, we'll actually have an Arbor Day celebration at Firefighters Park. And that one is at 10 a.m. So there's lots for families to do, and I hope you'll get out and cover uh, some of these events. Beyond that, um, I just wanted to mention that Tuesday we did get a nice reception in our new city council chambers. And we did a ribbon cutting, and I'm appreciative to all that were involved in the remodeling and also to the chamber for their representation there for the ribbon cuttings. I think everyone was very pleased with how the chambers look. We covered some interesting topics, and uh, if you haven't seen the video or seen it in the newspaper, the discussion on community facilities districts, which is a self-taxing entity to help us uh, fund infrastructure, is ongoing and will be ongoing now in the next session and beyond. And I'd really encourage you to uh, become familiar with this because it's a way that we might uh, utilize this tool uh, to help finance Rancho Santa Fe. Again, that we're dedicated to finding some way to fund that uh, as an entrance to our park, which as you know, has over 2,600 direct jobs and over a million dollar a year payroll. Uh, beyond that, um, we had Tri-City Council on Wednesday, and all of the three cities were represented. And we had a really good discussion on the legislative issues that are kind of winding down in the uh, state legislature, but some that still need our support, and, in, and including the one, uh, Representative Cobb's water bill, which would establish the study groups in Mojave and La Paz County. We really, really encourage and advocate for that to be passed. Um, and I think that the, a very important topic, which we are covering every, uh, every meeting of Tri-City Council, is the census, which will actually be taken next year, which will be here before we know it. It's going to be so important for every person to be counted in that census. And so I'm just going to mention it now, and in the future I'll be giving more information on that, uh, because uh, it, our funding, and for the city, our county, truly uh, all areas, will depend a lot on what the numbers are. We want to make sure that everyone is counted uh, in Kingman and in Mojave County. So that's kind of a brief wrap up of what's been going on this week, and I look forward to talking with you again soon.